For those of you who submitted your uh, argumentative essay, we're going to take a look at a few points that uh, came up as I was reviewing your, your essays for the weekend. And uh, you can find these same points here in Microsoft Teams. If you go to Class Notebook, select this uh, drop down arrow, and this will take you to Content Library. Unit 3, week 11. Towards the bottom. Okay, these are the points, and uh, this is in no particular order, just as they were coming up as I was looking at uh, your essays. What we're going to do is work in uh, pairs today, Monday, and perhaps tomorrow, going over some of these points, looking at each one one by one, taking a look at each other's work, and uh, making uh, the necessary changes. So the first thing uh, that you need to look at is the title. Make sure that you have an accurate title that reflects the overall idea of your essay and try to keep it between 6 to 12 words. Make sure your paragraphs have at least 6 sentences. I would say 6 to 8 sentences is, is a pretty good number uh, for each of your 5 paragraphs. Make sure you have a thesis statement at the end of your introduction as well as at the beginning of your conclusion. Try to draft your thesis statement based on the sections or the elements that we talked about in class. It should have a topic, should have an opinion, and then it should list uh, reasons or ways that uh, will serve as your points for each of your body paragraphs. Remember that you're going to divide up or organize your argumentative essay as a point-by-point -point, uh, uh, organizational pattern. Okay, So you're going to have three different points, and those three points should be reflected in your thesis statement. Make sure your font is Times New Roman, font size 12. Make sure that the font color is black. Sometimes when we copy and paste from other documents, uh, the color uh, gets grayed out or it's, it doesn't uh, stay consistent. And also sometimes the font changes. So again, make sure you have Times New Roman throughout. Just select the entire text and change the font. Make sure that it's also font size 12 and that it is black. Make sure you're double, you're, you've double spaced throughout your document, okay? So make sure that you have uh, equal spacing between paragraphs, equal spacing between your headings, and also make sure everything is double spaced. Check your level one heading. For the uh, purpose of this assignment, you should have basically two level one headings. It's one level one heading is going to be the title of your essay and then your reference your references heading at the bottom will also be a level one heading. Remember that they should be in bold, centered, main words capitalized, and make sure you have no punctuation after the headings. That goes for both the title of your essay as well as the references heading. Um, begin the introduction with a hook. Okay, so we talked about three different types of hooks. It could be an essential question. I would keep the questions in the third person, though. I would uh, tend to avoid first person and second person uh, introductory questions. And they should be deep thinking questions. So make sure that if you're coming up with your own question, that it is a, an essential question. It is really a uh, deep thinking type of question that provides a through line for your essay. It could also be a famous quote, or it could also be a salient or an important fact or statistic. The Of these three, the only one that would require a citation would be the fact, the important fact or statistic. That In that case, you would need a, a citation along with a corresponding reference. The meal plan. Make sure that um, your sentences are coherent, that they are organized, and specifically I saw some cases where evidence sentences were out of place. What I mean by out of place is that they're, they're not organized. I found some evidence that were at the end of a sentence. I saw some cases where evidence was the second to the last sentence. And I don't remember offhand if I saw any evidence sentences that began a topic or a body paragraph, but if that's the case, then we also know that that's out of place. And finally, if there is no evidence sentence or no citations 
as the second sentence of your body paragraph, then there is also something out of order. So double check for the meal plan, specifically the organization, the way in which you're presenting your evidence, um, your evidence sentences. The citations, make sure that you have citations in all paragraphs except for the conclusion. And I've already talked about font color should be black. Make sure you avoid absolutes. For example, always, never, no one, everyone, etc. Make sure that your references section, you have single and double space. I will discuss this in class today to show you an example of what I mean, but essentially it's single space within each reference, double space between each reference. Make sure each body paragraph, in fact, each paragraph, each of your five paragraphs has a 0 0.5 inch indentation. So again, all five paragraphs should have an indentation. Now this may require that you, you change from centimeters to inches to make sure that you're getting very close to that half inch mark. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to do in centimeters. So I would change the unit of measure from centimeters to inches first and then set up your indentation. And let's see, what else? Okay, make sure that your essay appears at the very top of your shared Word online document. Make sure your thesis statement begins with a transition. Remember, we have different ways of offering a transition. It can be a sentence connector, introductory phrase, or subordinating clause. So check your thesis statement in your introduction paragraph and make sure that you begin your thesis statement in your introduction paragraph with a transition. Uh, paragraph, instead, uh, yeah, actually this is a mistake here. It should be paraphrase paraphrase instead of direct quotes. If anyone really feels that they need to have a direct quote, uh, see me and we can talk about it. Otherwise, please paraphrase all of your citations. And finally, double check your indentations for your references. It's basically the reverse of your paragraph indentation. So the first line of each reference is not, uh, there is no indentation, so it should be all the way to the left. And then every second, every line thereafter within that same reference should have a 0 0.5 inch indentation. Basically the reverse, I would select all of your references and go up to the slider bars and, and make that adjustment. And again, if you, if you select the text and you, you just have to do it one time and that's it. Same goes for the body paragraphs and the, the introduction and conclusion paragraphs. Select all of your text use the slider bars in Microsoft Word and you just have to do it one time. Then it'll save that format. So this is what we're going to go over today in class. I'm going to share this video with everyone and ask that you take a look at the video, watch the video, work together in pairs, check each other's work, and uh, we'll continue go over, going over uh, additional aspects of your writing in terms of building a good argument. Uh, we'll continue looking at that and discussing that for the rest of the week.